Welcome to YT101. So again, we are still in the series regarding corporate event management. Yeah, on our previous class, series two, three point two, we talk about MC, video, and photographer. For now, series four point two, we talk about human resource management in terms of corporate event management. Okay, let's start off. Yeah. Okay. Now, basic staffing. Okay, basic staffing. Right? So setting aside time to make sure that event staff know what they are doing is important. Yeah, where you gather all the staff together, okay, you gather them together, and you brief them what are their job scope are. Okay, during the event itself, okay? the number of staff required required for stewarding. The location of the uh, the trains, table, buffet, green room, VIP. You have to brief them, yeah. You have to brief them, and the number of staff is depend on the size of your event, yeah. May it be a large scale event or a small scale event, just like a birthday. We see how many people needed, okay, for the event, yeah. Make sure that you you book staff as early as possible. Okay, for example, uh, you're using the the staff that you have, your office staff, for example. Then you might want to check on their annual leave or the activities. So you have to check back to the HR. Okay, head, check back on HR so that you know that they can be used to the event. Yeah, to the event. Okay, if you're using your own staff, right? Uh, your staff briefing should also include details on what to do in the event. Okay, for example, um, not for example, uh, most basically what to do during emergency. Okay, during emergency, for example, if there is a fire situation or if there is an incident, how do they respond? That's the most important thing because for event, you can run any event that you wish to run. Okay, but in terms of safety, in terms of how to evacuate the building, how to evacuate the venue, that's the most important thing that you need to brief your staff beforehand. Yeah? beforehand. Okay, now, there are many tasks to be undertaken and service to be provided during the event. Yeah? So, one staff might be doing two or three jobs depending on their set skill, yeah? on their set skill. The identification, training, and management of specific groups to undertake this task is the responsible of the event organizer. So, the event organizer is responsible to train them to identify which staff has the skill, the, the set skills, and which staff can be used in certain areas. Yeah? The management structure of an event can differ between the planning stage and the operating stage. So the planning stage might have their own um, director, might have their own project manager. For the operation side, they have their own manager. So both managers can meet up and discuss whether the things can be uh, forwarded or the things can be modified, whatever it is, as long as the event is running smoothly. Okay. <coughs> now, the organization has a structure, a structure, a structure Outline below is the recommended method for large scale event. Yeah? Large scale event that can be uh, modified depend on the needs of the event. Yeah? Uh, in all cases, the responsibility attached to an appointment must be uh, clear, set up out. There should not be duplication, overlap, or gaps. Means when you assign your staff to do, for example, uh, task A. So they are doing task A only. They are not doing task A, A.1, A.1, A.1B, A.1C, no. One task for one. Don't duplication means no one is doing the same thing twice. Okay? Everyone is doing uh, their own uh, job scope. When they come together for the trip, for the real event, then you can see something uh, magical is happening okay? and something works. If only they follow step by step. Yeah? Step by step. Now, any doubts about who is responsible for what 
okay, should be openly discussed in the pre-planning. Okay, in pre-planning, everyone knock their head. Everyone is knocking their head. Everyone is looking for answers. Everyone is uh, taking the blame here and there. That's under uh, that's under normal circumstances in terms of to get the matter out, okay, or to get the response out. Yeah? Because we want to go for the open discussion, okay, in the pre-planning meeting, so that no potential dangers, dangerous assumption are made. Okay, responsibilities must be expressed explicitly. Okay, so there is no hiding from one another. Everyone have to be vocal. Everyone has to open up to their uh, their worries or their concern regarding the event. Yeah? The following event management organization yeah? structure shows the responsibility went with the key statutory okay, agency for the event planning and emergency response purposes. Yeah? Okay, next. <coughs> The person, the person or the persons, okay, appointed to the position, position, indicate should have uh, the knowledge and the expertise to the uh, to the competence in undertake the uh, task. Means they have experience, let's say like five years of the event, and some experience and knowledge regarding uh, stage preparation or how they see the, the audience. Era. And of course, the event controller, okay, safety officer, client steward, chief steward, and medical manager are the key positions that must be uh, present during the event. Especially those uh, medical, uh, especially those medical must be uh, present in the event. Right? Okay. The event controller is the term used to identify the. So yeah, sorry, let me go uh, Identify the person appointed by the event organizer with the status and authority to take full responsibility for all matters relating to the operation, no management of the event. Full responsibility means the person who is the event controller has a legacy. In terms of how to put things in his perspective, how to see uh, the flow of the, uh, the company, and so on and so forth. Okay, some of the duties uh, actually attach, yeah, attach credits and so on are all in the hands of the uh, the authority itself. Yeah, the authority itself. Okay, yeah. number two. Two is this. Uh, number two is this. Okay. Number two is to ensure effective control. Okay. Communication and coordination system are in place as under event controller, ensuring the adequate measures are in place for the safety of all persons at all events. Okay, so safety must be uh, presented, safety must be preserved by the event controller, invitation, invitation of emergency action uh, procedures in the civil means they also need to them very as well. Right. Okay. Now, but from that. Initiate the emergency, uh, emergency action professionals okay, in fifth civilian, first year civilian. First year civilian is that uh, initiate whether um, the situation gets out of hand, then they have to initiate something to ensure that the situation is under control. Okay. Now, still under event controller, yeah, the, the, the chief steward. Okay, will have a uh, responsibility for the management of personnel design as event steward. Yeah, okay. event steward. Okay. Event steward. Okay. Uh, 
manage, manage uh, the manage the, the lead off, yeah? uh, management of uh, per, per personnel designed for every steward. Yeah? The the event steward are the eyes and ears of the event manager team and their training knowledge of the venue event and principal uh, principal uh, management of people's skills. Okay, so these are uh, the job of event controller. Yeah, the eyes, the ears of the company, and also they ensure that everything runs smoothly and accordingly. Yeah? So the chief steward should also take responsibility for security matters at the, at the event. So security, yeah. Taking care of, yeah. Taking care of the, uh, the event organizer is, um, okay, is there, just that it needs to have the event controller as well. The event organizer is responsible to ensure that adequate level of stewarding is provided for an event. That's the purpose of our event, event um, organizer. Okay. <coughs> right. okay. It is advisable for the site the number number of how many stewards are carrying one carry the initial task risk assessment, how many of them, maybe you need two or three, the rest of they can man the, the, the job itself, for example. Eh? Okay. Uh, consider how many stewards will uh, require an entrance and exit unauthorized, okay, unauthorized uh, section. Where do we go after this? Yeah. Then again, um, other tasks may include the management of various assets such as controlling numbers and entrance at the field, okay? ensuring good crowd distribution, keeping and inspiring exit routes clear and diffusing potential violence, uh, violent Move on, eh? move on, okay, move on. Event steward should be organized in team related and also, um, and also treat, uh, and treat tasks and areas of operation of the event. Yeah? The chief steward and team supervisor, particularly operation and the very um, end of their job. The chief steward and team supervisor particular in target uh, areas should be provided with two-way radio, okay, two-way radio, right, and so on, okay, okay, so commercial and some voluntary organization, okay, organization can be, can be so quick to see the experience event, sample, but in all cases, the chief steward should ensure they are facilitating and have the power to do so. Okay, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Uh, commercial and some voluntary organization can be a source of experience, event steward, but in all cases, the chief steward should ensure they are familiar with the event activities and layout of the venue and relevant section of the event management, particularly procedures in the event of emergency appearance. So event controller, the most important thing is that when they go and look for uh, emergency, so when they are emergency, happening, they are the ones who will be there first, okay? Now, from uh, from event officer, okay, we go for the safety officer, safety officer, right? And overall, safety coordinator should be appointed for the event, yeah? They should be involved in event from, uh, from the initial to the end, okay? For the initial plan to the end, they'll be safety. 
So what they do is that um, they should involve in everything that, that is about the effect. Yeah? This is key key role uh, to ensure that there is a common understanding of the event organizer safety policy and procedures. And when detailing with safety and emergency response uh, personnel, and I also would uh, suggest that both event steward and also event controller work together and to make the event much more better. Okay, now safety officer. Some of the some of the tasks undertaken by a safety officer includes okay includes act as safety controller, a uh, safety coordinator in relation to uh, safety, to safety members, okay, and how all responsibility are put in the person itself, ensuring that the supplier and equipment carry out event is safely checked, okay, safely checked, okay, and we prepared anything that happen, yeah? and so we uh, be very um, active in knowing where the the things gonna happen yeah because we want to have this um, initiative in terms of emergency procedure and also number uh, requirements yeah? requirements okay next um, the event organizer under health and safety regulation is the uh, provision of the kids duty duty of course uh, duty of course where there is uh, there is something about safety that needs to be undertaken by medical officer. Now, medical officer is there to provide assistance in terms of uh, taking care of the, of the staff or the participant, ensuring that they got bandage and everything under safety officer. Okay, for this one. Depending on the number of um, profile and the, uh, and the... And finally, medical officer is to uh, cover the type of service areas such as uh, provided in, uh, for location facilities uh, procedures of sending people off to the medical record data and contingencies and also uh, what occurrence where they are on standby okay with that thank you very much for the, the brief class for this friday for event management okay i hope to see you guys on next week thank you very much and see you next series Gracias.